news updates. Nothing in this country is working anymore. PDP chieftain declares of a truth. This PDP chieftain is right. Senator Samuel Anyang is very much right. He lamented that the ruling party APC has failed Nigerians by not keeping its promises to the citizens. Yes, you are very much right. It's very much right. This PDP chieftain is very much right of about what you just said. They have made different promises and they have refused to fulfill any of them. That is why he's saying that PDP is a failed party. This chieftain, uh, PDP chieftain, used to be former Senate committee chairman on public petitions. He also ethics and privileges while speaking in a way. He also lamented that insecurity in the country, high po poverty rate and unemployment, which had brought unimaginable sufferings on the people. It's very much right. People are suffering because they don't have jobs. People are suffering because they are, they are so poor. No money to feed with. People are, so, are suffering all because of security. They don't have security. Nobody to secure them. They are being kidnapped. They are being distorted uh, by these so-called bandits. You can imagine. Truly, APC and and. The, the, the then presidential candidate, President Modi Buhari, assured Nigerians of their commitment to raise their standard of living, to construct good roads network, to offer quality education and improve on agriculture. But today, all the promises were made this seat. They were made this seat to hijack power. Before they came in, as, before they started ruling, before President Mondowari came in as president, as a, what would I put it, as a, pre, a pre, Nigerian president, he promised all of this. He promised good roads, he promised standard of living, to raise standard of living, he, come, he promised good road networks, he also offers quality, he said we offer quality education and improve on agriculture, Explain that agriculture. But what happened? Nothing has been done. He did all this, he promised all of this, all because of power. He knows that he will not do any of those. This is why he made those promises. And at the end of the day, the stupid Nigerians voted for him. So, voting for. I would prefer to know an article to President Modbua. Now they are regretting that they would, they, they would have. They, if they, they knew that Buhari would treat them this way, they would have left Gulo Jonathan to continue his administration. They would have voted for Gulo Jonathan. You can imagine. Scott, today, what's happening today? Nigerians have been raped. They have been chattered. They have been dehumanized and also abandoned by so called governments. So called governments that have promised heaven and heads, but never did anything you can imagine you can you see how wicked our governments are see how wicked they are you can imagine all this this is not fair the way they are treating nigerians citizen is not fair even if they are not they, they refuse to uh, fulfill their promises then they should be they should leave them let them be left alone and never to be punished the way they are punishing them by allowing kidnappers, by allowing rapists, by allowing so many things to come between them. You can imagine. I know very sure, I'm very much certain that with what is going on now, the president, sorry, the citizens of Nigeria, even the Northerners have decided never to vote for any person related to Buhari or any Northerners. That's our promise, and of the truth. That is what is going to happen. It's even happening, not that that is going to happen. They have made up their mind. 
But we see the, the, the courses they were running, raining on President Modibari for what has been happening to them, with everything that has been happening to them, they never, never, never even, eh, 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 they never ever thought of, eh, thought, thought, they never thought of even eh, siding and protecting them. Instead, the federal government left them without being attended to. You can imagine how wicked it is for her. Imagine, when those bandits are mostly uh, Fulanese and are known by the federal government and the states, the government sponsored these terrorists of Fulani extractions. They sponsored the terrorists. That's why we're having problems. That is why you have refused to uh, tackle this issue of security in this country because he doesn't want his, his uh, secret to be exposed. You can imagine. What should we do? What should Nigerian citizens do about this? When the person, when the leader is supposed to back them up and support them is against them. What do they do? What do you expect them to do? They can't do anything because nothing will be done. Nothing will be done. That is it. With all the promises they've made, nothing has happened. Nothing happened. Nothing happened. This is why Boko Haram says that they will never, and they will never forgive Buhari, that they will keep kidnapping innocent girls. Look at recently, they just kidnapped innocent girls again. They said they will keep kidnapping innocent girls. Since they have refused this is President Boy has refused to fill all the promises he made to them. He promised them shelter, good jobs, first good facilities and all of that. But nothing was done. Nothing, nothing happened. You can imagine that. So you expect this Boko Haram, you expect these bandits, or should I say X Men, to keep supporting Buhari. It can never be possible. It can never, never be possible. Never. So viewers, I don't think that with everything that has been happening, even what if even if it's worse or what certain happens, why we still not to consign? Because he doesn't want his uh, secret to be exposed to the world. So viewers. What is your take on this? Your comment concerning this news will be very much appreciated. Don't hesitate to drop them below the comment box. Click on the subscription button and also the bell button to get notifications whenever we upload new videos. Thank you.